Hello there, this is the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I've got my blue gloves on. It's time to look at some trading cards. But before we can look at new ones, we've got to organize these ones. There's way too many on my table right now. They're awesome, but they need to get in the binders before we can find even more awesome cards. So if you remember, these are the Metal Universe, Spider-Man Metal Universe cards we opened a few days ago. And they are all sleeved already, which is good. I did that while I was opening them. So I can put those aside right now. Look at that later. And then the rest of these is something really awesome. So as you know, I already have a box of Pops Chrome Star Wars 2023. So this is the hobby box. Uh, bought this from Blowout Cards. And uh, I have not opened that yet. And I don't know when I will. Uh, but I still wanted to see what what a break was like, what being a part of a break was like. And if you've never heard of that, it's where uh, someone else opens your cards for you on a stream. It sounds like a weird idea, but it's actually really fun to watch someone else do it, and especially if they know the product and they know what to look for. Uh, and so I've been watching a local shop here uh, called The Bullpen LA. It's a local shop in Los Angeles, and they do breaks on Drip and Instagram. I was watching the Drip feed, and I asked uh, Ben to break one of these boxes for me. Uh, and you have to pay a little bit extra for that. But as you see, you get some great, you get great treatment in return. Like uh, this is how it was given to me with these, uh, with basically every single refractor was already in a sleeve and a top loader. Uh, even the, every, every one of these refractors already sleeved. Uh, and then the base cards, I ask them to keep the base card, which is something they don't usually do if you're shipping, but if you're picking up, they'll they'll do that for you. Uh, and they put those in these little team bags. So we're going to be sleeving those today because they, they all need to get sleeved before you put them in a binder. Um, it's still awesome, right? And I, and before we go much further, I want to show you a clip, of a couple of clips actually, of when these uh, big cards were pulled so you kind of uh, see what it was to experience that you know, for yourself. So here's a clip of Ben pulling, I think, the auto first. C-3PO. Yeah, so this is the pack right Frank. before the auto. And you can see me, I'm archivist, uh, talking over there, and, and we talk back and forth. For Santan. Break, which is also this guy was a fun. badass. Yeah, and so he Fifth brother, we have a backwards so card. He usually opens sports cards, Tuscan but Chief. he also knows the Star Wars. And Tuscan Chief is your Disney auto. cards back there, he knows pretty well, which are, yeah, that's Amanda. my kind of thing. And the, auto. So the Dark Troopers arrived. It was a lot of fun, right? I mean, everyone was pretty excited. So let's get back to here. Uh, yeah, so that was this uh, auto of Tuscan Chief. So each of those hobby boxes is sort of guaranteed to have one auto in it. It's not a real on-card auto, though. What happens is they have the actor sign a bunch of these stickers, and then when they release a set, they put that sticker on the card. So it's a real autograph, but it was an autograph on this card, which is slightly less valuable. And as you can see, it's not its not going to be numbered as a result. Right? So this is not a limited card at all. Let's look at another one, though, when he pulled this gold. We're a little further along now. I see gold. So see Good luck. Saw it before There's I Han Solo it. resistance. Fourth and sister. He knows the order, so he was able to. Yaris. And come on, baby. DJ. Yeah, it is DJ. To 50. That is a number card. That's a good one. That's uh. Very nice. What's his name? Benicio nice. del Toro. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I'll probably do it again. It was honestly a great, great value for the work you get done. And uh, those are awesome. In great condition. 50, 50, they did a great job. So this is the lowest numbered card I own now. And this is my first auto. Pretty fun. Okay, so these are already all top loaded and everything. So we don't need to, we don't need to mess with these. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put them because I don't really want to put all of those in my pit ship under. These are neat too. They put my name on it for when I pick it up. And these bags are reusable uh, team bags. So you can, I'll, I'll use them for storing cards. I might even use them for storing these. So here's some some of the other refractors that were in there. And 
know, moniker cards. These aren't, uh, these are just regular inserts. But even, is that a refractor? No. <laughs> and these mango ones, our mango ones are actually pretty fun too. The Grogu's, there's a, uh, another one. Another one of those. Good looking cards, right? Shut up. Another one of those. So, yeah, I, I thought a uh, very, very good set. I'm glad I bought one box. I was considering a case. I'm not sure. Uh, Full Panel doesn't have a case, so I couldn't buy one from them. But maybe, you know, if it comes, I might do it. I don't know. It's, it's a very good set. We'll see if the other one impresses me just as much. Okay, so the, these are all sleeved already. It's a little bit It's so rare. It's pretty cool, too. And the interesting thing is the, the Pops cards tell you what they are. So Refractor is like the second level. Second level rarity above just standard chrome, which also is a great look. So let's take that out of that little, little bag there. And we can uh, we can sleeve these up now. So what was happening is as Ben was opening the packs, he was handing them to his assistant Ryan, I think his name's Ryan, who was then sleeving them all and putting them in these. So each one of those bags is one pack's worth of bait. Just really nice of them to do that. See that one of this. Jim. <laughs> New Nissan's character from Episode One. What was that called? Can't remember now. <laughs> okay. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh... Oh, this the colors on these is also kinda interesting, so this red means they're like a bad guy. Green is, uh, I guess, what, Jedi? Yeah, Jedi. Blue is like Republic. And then this one's Resistance. So it kind of tells you sort of like what, you know, whatever, what, what group they're with. And the way I'm planning to do this in the binder is to put them in there by number. So they are actually kind of organized. It's just weird for me, I know, but it's neat, huh? This chrome stock is very good stock, and the corners are nicely uh, nicely sealed. Everything's really good about these cards. You can tell uh, they're, they're nice, really high quality cards, even compared to some of the things we've seen here. We have a lot to, uh, a lot to see. What I'll do is I'll go maybe to about 15 minutes or so, and then I'll just sleeve the rest off camera. Oh, here's some more. Oh, here's one that's already sleeved. Refractor in there. Well, I guess that's what was happening, is as he'd hand them, the refractors would get sleeved, and these would get team bag. K2S, so it's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. So, got another moniker here. That Darth Vader is nice, huh? Very spooky looking. Oh, yeah, dark and dark ray, of course. Everyone's gotta have dark ray. Why don't we do that one next? These uh I, I don't know which ones are dupes yet either. I guess I should probably be keeping track of that. I don't know, what do you do with a chrome dupe? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look later maybe to see. Uh, let's see, we did some base here, right? These were all base, so I'll keep all the base out because I'm pretty sure I don't have any dupes of non base cards yet. I probably will after opening another box. I definitely would after opening a case. <laughs> and even with a case, you would never be guaranteed a full, I mean, you'd probably get a full base set. That's almost, I think there's only 100 cards in the base of this. But you would never be guaranteed, you know, like a full set of 
longer ones, or even the moniker ones, which is the easiest one to pull. Yeah, I just love how they're all, you know, chrome. Obviously, like, that's the name of the set. But still, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice to see. Such a neat, uh, neat mix of characters in this release, too. You've got stuff from all over the, you know, the universe. The movies, of course, all the movies. But also, this is the one of the shows, I think, Rebels, right? Oh, I can't even like with the Uncle the Clone Wars. I haven't watched all the shows. I know, I'm sorry. I look at trading... Whenever I have free time, I record trading card videos. I don't watch <laughs> those too often. Oh, that one's awesome. Sorry, I just saw that. I, I told... When, when you do one of these breaks, you kind of get the room, is what they say. And that means, like, you get to sort of decide how they want to do it and stuff. Because, like, obviously you paid money for this. So they want to they want to you know, make you feel like you got value out of that or whatever and I, I do I, I mean they did an excellent job like i said I would, i'll buy another one it was definitely worth it just for the work they did here alone oh, it was super nice yeah but, but since you have the room you can sort of say like you know oh, I, I don't need you to look at every single day but you can go kind of fast and that was a busy night for Ben, so I told him to go, you know, he could just go through the base without looking at them all. And so here we are, 11 minutes into this video, and I haven't even gotten through two base packs. Ben did all 24 packs. And you saw the two clips. He wasn't going crazy fast or anything. He did them all in seven minutes, like seven and a half minutes. That's an experience. That's what experience gets you. Maybe I'll be there someday. Definitely not now. I'm very slow right now. Let's see. Maybe I can get there. But you can you don't have to do that. Like if you want, he can go a little slower. He's not gonna go too slow because he needs to get get as much as he can in. Um, so yeah, that's what a break is. You basically get to sit on a stream and watch someone else open your cards and then uh, on in their case, they will ship those, and I'm pretty sure they would ship base too. You might just sort of pay them a little bit more to do that. But by default, they'll ship all the rest of them, any hits to you. And uh, I think it's $4 shipping on or for this uh, continental US anyway, on Drip, the Drip Shop. And it, the experience was great. Uh, I don't get paid any money. I've said that a lot. I'm going to keep saying it so I don't get sued. I don't get paid to say any of these things. I just try stuff and I liked it. And I didn't just try that out of the blue, you know. I didn't just wake up one morning and go, oh, I'm going to give Bullpen LA, you know, $200 and <laughs> hope they give me something. Right? No, no, no. I, I watched many streams uh, before I, I made my first purchase, as I'm sure a lot of people did. And I watched them and I, I made sure, you know, they did things the way I sort of would, and I weren't like rough, being too rough with the cards. And ben, ben does a, I think, a, a pretty good job with the cards. He doesn't, he doesn't wear gloves, uh, but then again, he's doing that for like six hours. Not joking, like that's how long one of those streams might last. So I'm not surprised he doesn't wear gloves. But maybe he could offer that as an extra service. <laughs> Yeah, he was definitely, of, of the three breakers that work there, I think one is the owner, and I, I've met them all now at the shop. Hello there. Uh, sorry about that. I had a little technical problems with the video. I had to cut it, and I ended up actually resetting my phone and Mac completely from scratch. So that took a few hours, but I'm back now, and I... I think I can record again. We're gonna find out. Uh, as you can see, I did a lot of sorting. Um, it's a good thing we cut the video because this took about an hour to sort like this. So everything is sleeved now and they're sorted into piles by their number so that I can put them into the binder in the right numbers. And I already put most of the cards into the binder. So I have a few wrestling cards left to put in. And then we'll start loading the, the uh, Star Wars ones. 
but I just wanted to uh, basically come back once, end this video. Uh, if I do this right, there will be like a cool Star Wars wipe between the two. But if I did it wrong, it's just going to be a hard cut. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I'm going to stop this video now. You can kind of see where I got to. And then I'll start it again when I start to put the, the Star Wars cards in, okay? See you then.